Hello, so it's Ariel. Welcome to today's video. Today is all about you and it is an ASMR makeover roleplay. So we are going back to basics with a non binaural video. Remember how things used to be like three years ago? Three years ago, guys. A long time ago. So I have my vanity case with mirror, cotton buds, lipsticks, lip glosses, um, eye makeup palettes, foundations, all sorts. So let me just maybe bring you a little closer. I need to just bring you a little closer. Oh, nice and quiet in the house. It's just me and you. Like old times. Okay, so. Fair to combination skin. It's okay, it's normal. T zone. Yeah. Okay, yep. Yeah, same with my skin. Okay, it's fine. A little bit. Teaser, it's quite normal. Just a little bit. It's fine. Let's try this there. A bit irritated. A bit eczema there, maybe. Okay. I've got some germline for any irritated areas there. Okay. First, I'm going to use some uh, cleansing water. I'm going to try not to uh, show product names. So, I only showed germline. <laughs> I'm going to use some. Um, Cleansing water. I'm gonna cleanse, cleanse, cleanse. So we need a cotton pad. Just one. And just a little bit. Peculiar stuff this is. It like goes all bubbly. Just going over your face now with the water. Do do do. I do apologise about my nails and just my state of my hands. I don't have the most beautiful fingers in the whole world. I have a tendency of biting the skin around the nails. <laughs> just because I'm like a anxious person. <laughs> Summer's day outside. 
do 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 and I'm doing your makeup. Okay, so your face is nicely done. Now we're going to put some. Do, 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 do. What are we going to put on your face? I like to use. I'm going to use this. It's a firming and lifting serum. It's a really nice serum. I'm obviously going to say that. <laughs> so I'm going to put some in my hand. in my fingernails where I was painting my nails earlier so I apologize for all of the cotton wool caught in my nails <laughs> said earlier and I can say the name because I showed it earlier on some dry patches there is factor 30. I'm going to put this just by your eyes. I think this is important. So let me just So that's going to protect just under your eyes there, because this is particularly for your eyes. Use, going to use a primer for your skin now, just to give your skin a nice smooth finish. Brush, but I'm going to use my hands and they're clean so do not worry. I'm going to feel better if I just use my hands on your face. I'm going to apply, apply to your face. Just apply it to your face there. Very 
gently to your face. I can feel just how much I'm putting onto your face in a much more controlled manner. And I can see it's more even. You can always take it off if it's more, if it's too much. You can always control the amount. You can always control the amount. So that's the good thing. I feel like we can just take that a bit off there. now. Down the nose. It's pretty easy. That. Just down the nose. Pretty easy like that. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. There we go. We can just smooth a little bit, smooth a little bit, smooth a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, smooth a little bit. concealer under your eyes. So let me just do a little bit of this. Just under that. Just that. And just do that one. Okay. Good. Right. Now, I'm wondering, are you more of, are you more of this shade? <sighs> or this shade? Hmm. I think you're more of this shade. shade. You're very pale. Okay, so let's go with some of this one. And that like that. Again, I'm going to apply this with my hand. I'm do this to apply. Lie over your face. Just over one side because I can feel better how the foundation goes over your face. You can feel the way it goes better with the primer onto your skin. You can feel the way it goes onto your skin. You can feel it. The way it wears, the way it wears, if that makes sense. So, across your forehead, across your forehead there, across your forehead, across your forehead, across your forehead. Okay, so. 
going to just go down your nose now. Down your nose. Down your nose. And your lips. Your chin. scar on you and I want you to just look up okay okay brilliant now the next eye okay Now, I've got a really nice mascara, which is a gel and fibres to extend your lashes. So, if you could just look straight at me, this is the gel. So, keep still. I'm going to do this three times. One, two, three. And then I'm going to apply the fibers. Gonna apply the fibers. One, two, three. There we go. And now the next eye. Gonna apply the gel. So one. Two, three, and now I'm going to apply the fibers. So, just don't blink for like a few seconds. Perfect. You look so pretty. So, I'm going to put a different mascara on at the bottom lash line because I think that they will suit you for tonight. some reason I don't, I cannot explain why, because I'm talking utter nonsense. <laughs> so this is an elastic mascara. I'm going to be using, um, as an elastic mascara I used underneath the, um, the one of the, um, the fibres. But I'm going to be using this uh, step one and step two mascara on your bottom lashes so it's got uh, these rather large brushes so if you could just look up it's going to do a little twizzle it literally just needs that I'm not even going to do step um, well that was step two oops <laughs> I've done it wrong never mind it's fine and your other eye is 
fine, don't worry. I just was meant to do step one. I'm not thinking straight tonight. I should have done this step. Actually, that this one is possibly bigger. But anyway. For a little bit of eye brow pencil, just fill in your eyebrows a little bit. Just to define them a little. A little bit. To the colour palettes. I'm going to use. I'm going to use this one. And I'm going to use. I'm not going to use a blush on you. But I'm going to use, definitely going to use this colour palette on you and these colours because I think they're going to make your eyes really pop if I can get this thing open. The colours in this are really um, bright. They are really bright. Like, no one's business. Just so completely bright and um ew, what is that that's gross okay so as we know no one ever 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 uses these crappy things right so see i've got really lovely brown eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to just do them a really nice colour. A really crazy colour. Really crazy colour. Do a really crazy colour now. Hmm. Let's do some really crazy colour. Neon colours would be quite would be quite him. Oh my gosh, this neon is quite crazy. <laughs> wow, it looks really pretty. Oh my goodness, it's really pretty. Oh wow, it's really nice. There's a little bit in the corners here, and a little tiny bit of this royal blue. See this one here. So I'm putting this neon. So it's neon yellow, there's royal blue, and then I'm going to go with a little bit of this um, like marl grey. So I'll use a little bit of a corner of my finger, just dab a little bit there. So we've got neon, blue, and then a marl grey. So they actually go really well, so basically we've got yellow, blue and grey. So we've got your gorgeous brown eyes, neon, a neutral, and then like a fairly bland colour. Well, it's a neutral, very earthy tone. And it goes really well. So we're using a big splash of the neon just in the central of the eyelid here, just down here. So just down this eyelid. Here, just keep your eyes shut there. Splash of colour here. Now, just 
just a little line of the blue in the corner and now a little dash of the mull just going to go like that perfect that looks awesome ok so the other eye I'm going to do the same so it's like a little line of the yellow but more predominantly yellow just a little bit more that's it then a little tiny dash of the blue just in the corner and literally just a tiny bit just to add that little it's like a little smudge that's what it's supposed to look like a little tiny smudge cannot believe how well these colours work together it's so good you could literally just pick out just um, you could even say that it's like one two and three so yellow, blue, grey. You could even say that orange, you could say orange, teal and grey could go together. Even orange, teal and pink. <laughs> you could say, maybe. That's a really good look, and I'm gonna do an undefined, an undefined underline using not black because most people will use black, and it can be a bit too stark. I'm gonna use this palette. And these are mainly um, like pearlescence kind of colours and I'm going to use this these are mainly like pearlescent colours and I'm going to use this colour right here which is like a pearlescent purpley colour so just going to get the colour off of here side corner of your lower lid and then the same on this side and then I'm going to get this colour here this like tealy colour and then just do the rest that colour so it's like blended in that looks really really cool Right, so finally we will be looking at putting a lipstick on you. So, seeing as we have quite bright eyes and quite a nice kind of... So, so now we'll be looking at putting a lip gloss and lipstick on you. I think as we have nice quite bright eyes I think we will be looking at putting just a pale kind of lipstick on you. So I am going to put something kind of pale on you. Something like this. So nothing too bright. So I'm just going to apply that to your lips there just like that there we go and I'm going to finish this with a little sparkle lip gloss And it's 
going to be one of these ones with the glitter in it. These are most fun. So, just a little bit of glitter. It's like the colour in the lip there. And then that is your look complete. So, hope you enjoyed this video, found this relaxing. Please do comment, rate, subscribe, and don't forget to subscribe to Cracker's channel. Get them up to a thousand subscribers and we can do live shows. See you in my next video. Bye everyone.